what the heck is happening in Ben's real estate market? Our prices actually dropped last month. That's crazy. We're going to talk about it, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Nora Spangler with Rogue Real Estate here in Bend, Oregon, and my channel, I just talk all about real estate, buying and selling, and try and keep people up to date on what's going on in this crazy real estate market. So before we get to the statistics, the actual numbers, let's talk about some of the broader things that are going on right now. If you're looking for a home to buy right now, then I'm sure you're aware, and sellers should be aware of this too, interest rates have gone through the roof. Since the beginning of this year, interest rates have gone up one and a half points. So they were around three and a half at the end of last year. And now in April, they are around 5%. You might find some under 5%, but I've talked to several different lenders and depending on the buyer's credit and other factors, they could be staring at a 5% or higher interest rate. So what does that do to home affordability? Well, yeah, it kind of puts the damper on it. There are many factors right now that are affecting home buyers and sellers. Things like inflation, which is going crazy. We see the gas prices going up. A pound of hamburger is close to five bucks now, as well as a gallon of gas. And there's the war in Ukraine. And so worldwide uncertainty affects the stock market and you know just our willingness to dive into a huge purchase like a home. If you like my channel or any of these videos, give them a thumbs up, click that subscribe button so you get notified when I make a new video, which is pretty much every week. And if you're thinking of moving to Bend, there's a link in the description box for a relocation guide. Just give me your email, I will send it right out to you. Let's talk about some numbers. What happened in the first quarter, and especially last month, March, um, in Bend home prices? Well, our median single family home price in Bend actually went down in March, just a tiny bit, 2% from the month before. But don't jump for joy yet, because our home prices have jumped 10% just since January, and year over year, we are up 25%. Our home prices have increased 60%. $4.99 was the median home price in March of 2020. March of 2022, it is now $799,993, so just about $800,000. It was 820 last month, so it, it dipped a little bit. Is that a trend? Well, we're gonna have to wait a couple more months to see if dropping home prices become a trend. Now, what about new construction? I've done a lot of videos about new construction, and I've said it can be a really great option, maybe a little easier to get into, not as many bidding wars as existing home sales. Well. That doesn't always work out. I had a client just last week write an offer and they went over the list price of a new construction home and they did not get it because the builder had a handful of offers and someone offered more and so they got the home. Now, a good thing in the case of new construction is that they already listed another home exactly like that one so at least you have another chance um, to try again in new construction. If it was an existing home they had lost out on, well, you just have to wait for more homes to come on the market. Let's talk about new listings and our overall home inventory in Bend. Here's some good news. New listings are up. Yay! <laughs> That's good news. They're up 8% over a year ago, so we're moving in the right direction. In March, they were up 20% from February. Yeah, that's good. And they're up 80% overall since January. So there are more and more homes coming on the market and that's what we need. That's good news. 
Guess what our overall inventory was in March? 198 homes, which was down 65% over a year ago and down 48% from our January and February numbers. New listings are up, inventory is down. How do we get there? Well, we had 463 homes go pending in March. That's twice, more than twice, the number that went pending a year ago in March. So I think it's that fear of missing out. Um, people maybe were waiting on the sidelines and they realized that home prices are not going to fall. And so they jumped when interest rates are rising and you know they're, they're still below 5%. And so they grabbed that chance and got a home under contracts. Our pending sales are up 87% from the month before February and up 116% since January. Usually the first quarter is a little bit slow, but hey, times have changed. Our market has changed. Um, yes, it's slower than the middle of summer, of course. So if you can get under contract now, it will probably be easier. If you wait a couple more months, um, I believe it's just going to get harder and harder to find a home and get under contract. The number of homes sold is up about 10% over last year. So we all thought last year was a crazy real estate year. 2022 looks like it's going to be even crazier. Our sold numbers are up 10% year over year and up 45% from the month before, February. It is not slowing down, it's actually accelerating and the more demand we have, of course, the prices are going to keep going up. Another factor in our market is how fast homes are selling. Our inventory of homes is dropping and so are the days on market. So man, homes are selling so fast. And as far as I can see, the market is going to continue the way it has been. More people want to move to Bend and it just creates the same situation over and over, low inventory, if you are already here and you're looking for a home, it is really tough and you have to be decisive. You've got to know your numbers, know your budget, keep checking in with your lender, check on those interest rates, get a new set of numbers for what your monthly payment would be on any home that you think is interesting and then look at it, write an offer right away because there is no time for being a slow decision maker in this market. If you are a slow decision maker, you will probably miss out several times before you get the hang of it and you, you just have to push yourself to make that decision when you find a home that meets, you know, maybe 75 to 80% of your criteria and fits your budget, you better grab that home while you can. If you're thinking about new construction, I've got some videos here that talk about the process, what that's like, and it's kind of changing um, all the time in Bend, so give me a shout and I can let you know how that process works. Thanks for coming to my channel and I hope to see you next week.